Hello friends. One of the very saddening uh, news in the recent days has been the demise of uh, Puneet Rajkumar, the superstar of the Kannada films. All of 46 years of age, a very good-hearted soul and who was also full of energy. And then suddenly he is gone at the age of 46. I was reflecting on how we treat our body. A few days back, I was uh, in a film shooting. which is continuing still for my lunch requirements i had asked for some tomato soup in all sincerity the production team they got me the soup but as i had the soup i knew that uh, that was not the most comfortable for me yet instead of stopping myself i consumed the soup and i could from then feel a slight voice inside saying you know this is not all right and i continued with that slightly gaseous feeling and right enough um, day before yesterday night it manifested into a gastro issue and i felt sick cancel my shooting yesterday i had to take complete bed rest i was thinking about what is the relationship that we have with our body do we treat our body as a host who accommodate us to be treated with dignity respect and thankfulness or do we treat our body as an instrument which we can work on to be competitive most of us land up treating our body as an instrument available to us to use competitively to achieve some benchmarks competition has a very fundamental issue that is comparison it's very unfortunate that most of us land up in this comparison trap of our body our health with standardized representation of health we are looking outside for how to deal with our body than listening inside to our own body i would reiterate this again i think there is very big need for us to listen to our body to me doing exercise was a very necessary part of life but i remember way back in 1982 with a beautiful clarity coming from og mandino the writer who said your poverty is not determined by what you do not have in life but your richness is determined by what you can live without i stopped uh, eating non vegetarian food and uh, hard liquor completely almost completely and i have found uh, nothing you know lacking in life my food habits are extremely simple and with a very interesting diabetic reversal program from last year august i am into almost complete vegan food but the question is with all this is your mind treating your body as an extremely respectable high value host who is giving you space to live in Are are you treating it as an instrument? And my sincere request to all of us is, let's treat our body as a very high value, very respectable host who has accommodated us. We need to see that we don't cause discomfort to the host when we are staying in his or her abode. Which means we must listen to the body. We must not take it for granted. We must not stretch it to the point of. risk i agree that sometimes we do not know that we are touching the borders of risk but i think moderation by definition helps us to de risk the needs of the body are fairly simple the body says i am hungry but the mind says i need chicken biryani i need gobi manchurian it is the mind which is making the preference not the body and i think if you have the maturity and balance to listen to the body and to respond to that than to listen to the mind and be driven by that we become much better off in life the simplicity with which a body can take care of itself is something for us to be highly sensitive about let's be caring and collaborative with our body let's respect the body as an abode which has given us accommodation a temporary accommodation for a period of time whatever would be appropriate Uh, to the body by listening to it carefully by not creating preconditions based on uh, external standard and ignoring the truth of our body i think if we can avoid some of these mental pressures on the body we would be truly treating the body as a host as a partner and maybe that would help us uh, go through life with a lot more comfort ease let's try and treat our body as a friend and a host Take care.